So I'm looking at my hair right now and I really have to ask myself, was this a mistake to try this with my now natural hair? Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today it's day number four of Restyle in December. So I'm really ready to get this tutorial started. However, we have newcomers here. Hi, welcome. Don't worry. Calm down, I'm not going to bombard you to thumbs up the video or subscribe to this channel just yet. That's for later down in the video, but I mean, you can start thinking about it. Basically, my restyle in December is me doing five hairstyles that I've already done in the past. And today is day number four, which means I've already done day one, day two, day three, and for day four, I'm going to be doing one of my absolute favorite hairstyles. One of the most creative ones I think I've ever done. I mean, it's, it's debatable really, but... I think it's one of my most creative. Redoing this hairstyle that I created from back in April 2014 when I had relaxed hair is one of the actual reasons I came up with this entire restyle series. I just wanted to see how this braided bun would look on my now natural hair. So this is the kind of hairstyle I'll call a boom bun kind of hairstyle, which basically means I don't have to set anything, I don't have to wait on anything to dry, no sitting under the dryer today, okay? So you know, boom bum. I'm ready for this hairstyle. Let's follow along with the tutorial over here and let's restyle it. <laughs> I was totally feeling the line is right. Hold on, wait. I've not rewatched this tutorial in years, so no one that catch me off guard. Oh Lord. Okay, girl, so you're a lion now. Cool. Today's tutorial is a fully protective style. There's all kinds of illusions in this hairstyle. First we have the braid looking like it's going around the hair seamlessly. Then we have this really huge bun in the center. And though a great magician never reveals how he does his tricks, stay tuned to see how I created this braided bun. I'm going to start this hairstyle on fully air-dried hair that has been moisturized and sealed and gently detangled. I'm going to separate a circular section of hair right where I want the bun to be placed. After separating my section, I realized that I wanted it to be a little higher so that the braid will be very visible. You can choose to separate a section so that this little bun becomes a high bun or a mid bun or even a low bun. Now with that separated section, I'm going to put it in a chiny bump and secure it with a scrunchie. Cute, isn't it? <laughs> and now using a white tooth comb, because white tooth combs are a lot gentle on the hair, I'm going to gently manipulate the hair going back, as if I was actually putting my hair in a ponytail. Yeah, and don't forget on the head back. All right, just wait a second here. I am going to need a little more time to detangle this hair. It ain't as smooth sailing as back in the day. <laughs> and to help me detangle, I'm going to add a little of my As I Am leave-in conditioner for a little extra slip and uh, moisture and manageability. <laughs> so I had to comb it down first before I now comb it up. <laughs> We're tired. Now using my Eco Styler Gel and a soft bristle brush, I'm going to brush in the parameters of my hair just to tame any flyaways and to get this hairstyle to look as neat as possible. You see that little bit of gel I added? Mm, not the same now! 
So now to start the main attraction of this hairstyle, the braid. I'm going to start the braid at the left side of my head, right above my ears. And I'm going to just braid the hair all around the part in one big circle, basically. I'm going to try and pull the braid as far away from my hairline as possible. So I'm going to pull it as far away from the hairline as possible, but as close to the parting as possible. Now, this is not a braiding tutorial and I really don't know to describe this anymore than to say can the hair, but yeah, I wish I wish I could help with that, but if you know to braid, then this is simple. Yay! No, I'm not about tearing off my ends, so I'm going to add more moisturizer. Yeah, my hair is just a whole lot easier to manage when it's soaking wet, so. Now with the end of that plait, you're going to pull it as taut as possible and place it under the braid and secure it with a bobby pin. And now you're going to cut a nice lengthy piece of the weaving thread with your scissors. Weaving thread can be a little harsh on your hair strands, so I'm going to opt for something a lot gentler on my hair and I'm going to put my hair up with my satin ribbon. What you're going to do is use the thread and wrap it underneath the braid so that it kind of pull it down towards the head. So you want it to give the illusion of an actual bun, like you put your hair up in one in a ponytail. Now, anywhere you see that plait showing, I want you to tuck it under the main braid. You want to just see one braid going all around the head. So just tuck it under and pin the main braid over it. So this is the real magic trick of this hairstyle, the big center fluffy bun. With small sections starting from the end, roll the hair under using your index and your middle finger. Place the rolled hair behind the braid and anchor it down using a bobby pin. And just keep doing that all around the head in small sections. I'm also going to spray my hair with a soft hold spritz so as to tame any flyaways. And after doing that, I'm going to tie my hair loosely with a silk scarf for about an hour or so. And this is all just to really polish up this hairstyle. I just did the exact same thing. I added some spritz, a soft hold, well, this says super hold spritz hairspray and uh, then I tie my hair up with my satin scarf. Can you see that it's the same satin scarf? Okay, see you in an hour or so. Boom bam. So my hair should be set enough by now. I can feel that it's still a bit damp, but I mean, after all that product I did add earlier. However, remember we're doing a boom bam style, not a twist out, not a braid out, so it doesn't have to be completely dried, I hope. So let's pull down this scarf and let's see what we have going on. All my flyaways are laid down. Mercy. All right, so the hairstyle is complete as I said boom bam Yeah, but I'm gonna spice up this hairstyle a little bit by adding some accessory and you know slicking down my baby hairs We're on to my favorite section Accessories and I found three different accessories that I really like with this hairstyle First is this so this is option number one for accessories for this hairstyle just those cute little hair clamps 
but I have two more options. I bought this gold chain at a, what do you call it, a variety store. So it was very affordable, it ain't real gold. And I thought it would look good around here. So I don't think I'm liking this one so much. Um, let me try removing the clamps, cause right now it looks like team too much. Okay, so with the gold chain alone, I'm liking the look a lot better. I can see someone adding like a veil at the back, right under here, and wearing this as like a wedding hairstyle. You can imagine it, like, on the other side, what I'm saying, like, this would be the veil, this would be white, of course, and then like tucking it right under here. Just imagine it being white. And accessory option number three, I already featured in Restyle number three. I don't really know which one I prefer, but let me know in the comment section which one do you prefer. And this is the end of another Restyle in December. If you're new to this channel and you're not convinced by this one video that you should subscribe, I'll be sure to have some more videos up in the iCards so you can watch your heart content, get familiar with this channel, and when you are satisfied, hopefully not past three videos, you're welcome to subscribe. Okay beauties, later! I know I seem to love all of the hairstyles that I do on my channel, but this one? So what do you do when you see a croissant video and you have your hair to do? Come up with a croissant hairstyle, of course. This was really supposed to be just a filling up hairstyle, you know? A quick... Hopefully this turns out good. Doing the style over for the second time and I still have made mistake? Lord of mercy. There is no hope for this channel, people. No hope. <laughs>